we got into my pretty pretty late last night um, and after sorting out all the tents and cooking and um, getting some last minute shopping stuff done um, I just I couldn't bother to film anymore um, but there's some amazing scenery around this is where we camped last night um, we couldn't really see much of it when we arrived but it, it looks absolutely awesome and um, we've camped this, this valley um, and there's a river just running along this edge here um, and it's just it's just so nice so we, we're going to do this little hike this morning, um, just around, there are a few caves and there's a few nice trails just going up um, into these mountains. Um, and then we're going to possibly head off and head towards um, Denver and find somewhere to, to stay the night and kind of plan what we want to do, because that was kind of our first main hub that we were quite interested in, so um, that will be interesting. Um, but yeah, we'll just see how today goes. We're experiencing the culture of, um, of Colorado and to get fully involved and immerse ourselves in that culture we are heading to a recreational marijuana store to uh, fully understand the, um, the reason for legalization and testing whether it works. Join me in a minute. Obviously. Marsh, you are fresh. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Dun -da -da. So we're good. So can you tell me what the um, the obviously you wanted to know as well, but it's in yeah. um, what's the what's like the, the tax that's put on the eighteen point nine. Okay. So yes, we in Eagle have a town fee. It's five dollars above twenty dollars yeah. or one dollar under. Yeah. yeah. And that's on every transaction. Yeah. yeah. So and that was something that they had to work out to actually let the shop come yeah. in because they tried to change the rules after the fact. Okay. And that's how we ended up getting to be here was the town actually said, well, you can't, you got a grandfather of this, yeah. this company in. Yeah. So yeah, the story's all over the wall there with the newspaper. So I'm in the middle of editing this video at the moment um, and I wanted to just run some calculations just to see um, how much um, money would go into tax. Um, so from Christina said from one day, um, their maximum they've actually made is $16,000. Um, so, but with an average of $5,000 a day, so that's their, but that, that, that was their, their maximum. Um, so on that $16,000 a, a day, um, 3,000 would have roughly gone um, towards the state. Um, and then there would be a town fee added onto that as well. Um, so assuming that everyone on that day spent $250, um, in their one transaction, which is pretty much the maximum amount you can spend, um, that would have been an extra three hundred and twenty dollars um, going towards the town. Um, so that's really, really interesting, actually. Um, there are loads of statistics all over the internet, um, so have a look at that. Um, but we wanted to find out how much you could actually buy in one transaction um, and what we could buy. So next stage. You can buy. 28 grams yeah. of marijuana. Yeah. You of actual flour. Yeah. You can buy 800 milligrams of edibles. Sorry, just it's or or so 800 grams of edibles or 28 grams of flour. Yes, or, yeah. exactly. Sure. Or but see now then and you could in theory stop at each shop, but each shop yeah. is only allowed to sell you. Uh, one okay. ounce yeah. and you're only technically allowed to have one ounce on you yes so and they want it in your trunk, your trunk? if you're okay. if you're traveling yeah. or yeah. out of reach yes. if you yeah, yeah. had like a, if, if you have like a you guys are riding in the front and there's a back seat throw it in the back yeah but and then you're totally covered there's yeah. no in a sealed container when it leaves here it'll be in a bag with a receipt stapled to it sealed yeah. yeah. yada yada there's there you can run into no trouble that way Great. what's going on it's interesting at this shop you guys are like some of the youngest people that have come in here yeah. a lot of the people are 
I would say I'm 40, 40 and up. Yeah. And there, it, like, and it's not quantity. They're buying three joints. Yeah. Three grams of of whatever you yeah. know, a little thing, of edibles, and it's more of like small, little, almost like grocery purchases, okay. as opposed to large quantities. It's, it's. I thought it was. I thought we were just going to be running ounces out the door. People coming in, I want my ounce, and leaving. Yeah. And it's just not that way because it is something that you can pick up like groceries. So one of the things that dawned on me quite early on while looking around the shop was just the sheer amount of variety that there was. Um, so you could get things like chocolate bars, brownies, um, sugary sweets, drinks, um, pre-rolls, just normal kind of flour, um, vapes, um, and patches. And it was just, it was just crazy. I, I had no idea that there was that amount of variety around. Dave was quite keen to get a, a nice variety of different um, different styles of, of the drugs. So he got a large variety of um, pre-rolls, um, flour, um, got a cookie, a pot of brownies, um, and an energy drink, um, and just wanted to see kind of the effects of, of each of them and, um, and how the edibles especially um, differed from smoking it. I honestly believe the, the weirdest part about that was it was so natural. Mm. Like it felt like you were walking into a corner shop. It wasn't shady, there was there was nothing about it that would scream anything other than this is just normal, which it is in Colorado. Yeah. But coming from England where it's where it's you know you can be done for possession. Yeah. Is it's very interesting to see um, how people view the drug and and a lot, there's a lot of people from different backgrounds. We saw a lot of old people, young people, um, a lot of you know well-to-do, probably not well-to-do. Well, I'm, I'm, I mean, Chris, Chris Ennis had said that the the average age was like 14 above. That was that which was, is very interesting because I thought that would be a generation that'd be most hostile towards it. I think one of the most interesting things about this whole scenario is um, when we actually started talking to people in Denver. Um, so everywhere you look in Denver, there was. There is construction going on. There's huge remodeling going on. There's just there's a huge amount of change. And talking to some of the, the, the taxi drivers um, who've been there for a little while and seen this, this sudden influx in economy and money um, and all down pretty much, um, or what they think anyway, to the to the legal, legalization of weed and all this influx of money is just it's just huge. And um, I was just looking at an article that said that um, as of April this year, I'm not sure if it's, if it's changed recently, um, but uh, unemployment has got to 2.3%, which is one of the lowest places in the country. Um, and talking to, talking to the locals, they just, just, it's just this huge sort of change in the economy just through this legalization. And also in, in the businesses trying to now having to hire more people to, to serve this huge influx and trying to find chefs and um, and that sort of thing so um, but yeah it's just, just so interesting to see how this change has affected so dramatically um, the industry and the the area around it well it, it means that there's less less people in prison yeah and it also means that when you're buying it you know exactly what you're buying and you know everything that you're, you're, you're doing is yeah it's fine. And, I, and they've set a very strict legal limit, just like alcohol. We need to, they, they checked our ID straight away. I look, I look over, um, I look over 21. I think I look over 21. Yeah. But they made sure that my ID was was checked with a passport. I couldn't even use my driver, driving license. English driving license, which gets me mostly anywhere. Um, so yeah, it was a really interesting experience and uh, one I, I hope that that continues the trend elsewhere. Now to Denver. So we got in Denver, um, we're staying at a, a small motel um, just to kind of get our bearings, we've got some Wi-Fi so we can start looking at um, different um, areas in which we can stay um, in Colorado um, and we're just going to kind of plan from there. We've got a few ideas of what we want to do um, but nothing solid and we have no clue how, how long we're going to stay for as well so um, we'll just see how it goes. Um, but yeah, 
Ich wollte. Ja.